I eating st- ass. ass. I still can't believe that's your real fart. I still it, How many it fucking ass. blows this me not, away, this dude. Is a terrible way to start. I'm sorry, dude. I eating ate ass, ass last night. <laughs> Hold on, Aaron has a story. <laughs> we should open up with Aaron's story. Really? Yeah, you were late today, and we accused you of shitting your pants and driving home to change your underwear, and you said, that's not true, but I did shit my pants the other night. I you did? did? Not, I did not shit my pants. Uh, shit in somebody else's pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, he's shitting Beetlejuice's pants. Is that that's true? Right. <laughs> no. No, I, w- I played softball last night, and... Uh, By yourself? No. Oh. No, obviously not. Uh, we won, because we were great. Did you shit your um, pants and put them on your daughter? No. Oh, which no. team is it? Why would is you it? even say something she like that? She got into my Wait, underwear. Wait, you said that's a crazy way to start the show, and then you say, did you shit your pants and put them on your daughter? Yeah, blame her. She goes, oh, she must have gotten my tidy whities drawer and shit my pants. That'd be a tough fit, probably. And jeans. <laughs> he got through to the jeans. <laughs> and you were sitting in the front seat of the car, and now there's a stain. <laughs> we got to keep an eye on and her. she tried to wipe it with my driver's license. <laughs> She tried to scrape it out of the cracks. And she's the one who crashed into this tree, not me. <laughs> also, she forgot to file our taxes. <laughs> also, she, she bought all these drugs. <laughs> she put all our money in crypto. I, I think know. she cheated on my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, okay, Aaron, did any of this stuff... Are we on to something here? No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh did you ask that? <laughs> Unbelievable. So what happened? So I played softball, and we won. And then after the game... I was sitting around with the guys for a little while, and then I went to my car to go home, but I had to go to the grocery store to pick something up on the way home <laughs> for my wife. And I'm like, ah, his stomach kind of feels... <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that? No. It, my stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts? Yes. Because of the victory? No, because... Your, your stomach hurts, so you're looking for a purse to snake? Beach. No. <laughs> because of... <laughs> it's really hard to talk while that's going on. Because of... I wear a cup right, when I let's play. Let's make it easier. You wear a you. cup? I wear a cup because I'm the pitcher and I'm the closest to danger. And, and the catcher. No. I'm and just, you don't want to get erect when you have something good happen. So you hold, is, hold it down. There is that. That'll, that'll definitely Do you wear it. the Duke Grand? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Wizard Cup? It's called the Shock Doctor. Uh, the Shock Doctor? Yeah. Big, big Earl. I'm in the market for a new cup. Yeah. It's, you uh, wear yours for sexual... Thing. He doesn't have to know that, man. But his is for athletics. Are you uh, yeah. are you looking for a new cup because your cup <laughs> floweth over? My cup <laughs> runneth over. <laughs> with the floweth with cummies. <laughs> 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 Fucking unbelievable! This is Aaron last night. Is this you <laughs> at, <laughs> it's audio. Is uh, this you at the grocery store, Aaron? Wait, so, so you shit your pants into your cup? No, no. no so happened? I'm like, I'm at, I'm like, fuck. I should really. <laughs> 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 Let him finish the fucking story. We're gonna be here all day. We if, won't. We won't. He's fine. If I'm not going straight home, I should probably change out of this thing. Uh-huh. But I'm wearing like because it's cold at night now. Like I'm wearing like. Do you pants. wear the cup on the outside of your pants? No, I wear what? pants and shorts, and then you know you have underwear. I have like four layers of elastic across my waist. Okay. You just change in the aisle. It's either part of it, or it's or it's from when I run. You know, your cup bounces around a little bit. And yeah, ends up in and, your ass. And no, just kind of. <laughs> Kind of like punches you in the nuts a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it does, which def- almost feels like it defeats the purpose you, of yeah. the cup. What kind of cups are you guys wearing? Well, I think if you I think if you replace them often enough, or the, at least the, the, the jock strap portion of it, you know, it'll be tighter and it won't move around as much. But, you know, who wants to <laughs> buy a new one every... Why don't you guys get, like, uh, Muay Thai cups? What are those like? They, have, they, they just like have the straps it. that go underneath your legs. And then... I got the straps that go on my butt cheeks. It makes my butt cheeks look fucking great. I agree. Really Thanks. Great, Are you wearing one now? Nice. <laughs> Dude, no. Ricky, bring it I in. Thought about, punch you? I thought about wearing one in. Well, so what happens there? So I go to the grocery store, and I'm like, I'm, as I'm driving over there, oh, I'm like- Did you forget your mask, and you had to wear your cup on your no. face? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Uh, no, so I'm I'm driving over there, and I'm vacillating between, like, I'm fine. And, vacillating? This guy's doing vocabulary lessons. Yeah. I'm you vacillating. Sound like, you sound like me writing a letter. Vacillating between- so What are you doing with the vacillating? No, I'm just driving. <laughs> <laughs> vacillating between, between I'm fine your hands and not unbelievable. Exactly. he's got the new wizard name he's Aaron the Vacillator <laughs> exactly I'm, I'm vacillating between I'm oh my God. gonna have to shit or I'm fine you're gonna wait you're like isn't that everybody 
You're, you're going to shit or you're fine. Oh, I'm fine. He was vacillating between excretions Uh-oh. and deletions. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I'm fine. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's a good a vacillating act out. This guy's got the comedy store chops to do the vacillating act out. I'm teaching people about vacillation. You ever been vacillating between shit in your pants and not shit in your pants? I think you go a little something like this. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens so i get to the grocery store and i'm like is that a how, banana in my pants or did i shit my pants <laughs> how far is the grocery store from your house uh it's probably about two th- minutes it's about 30 diarrheas would you use the grocery store uh, bathroom if you had to or are you a non-public uh no i i will if okay. i have to got it do you prefer using a cabbage just hollowing it out and <laughs> shitting in it well he had that option <laughs> at the grocery store <laughs> So I'm barely in there. I'm barely, barely starting to you shop. Think about dumping a can of Folgers out on the ground and shitting in the can and putting it back on the shelf. Are you looking at grapefruits that you can peel and wipe your ass with? Them? No, no. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just, just starting, and, and the feeling comes back, and I'm like, oh, fuck. bubbling in your stomach. So now you, you vacillated from no. Yeah, I went vacillated yes. back to it's gonna, it's, it's happening. You okay. vacillated back I can't, to I reality. I can't fucking concentrate. I'm did, like looking for stuff. I'm like, did I you can't. only need one item or several? I needed several. What kind of items? Like, like a po- magic potion, fruits, a no, there's like fruits hook. and veggies, and like, yeah. okay, even the fi- just looking at that fiber make you shit. Yeah, ah, so did you think about plugging it up with a celery stick in the ass? <laughs> you could you know you could shit if you put enough celery sticks together, you can make a tube and shit down your leg. Yeah, and you can run that all the way to the bathroom so you don't have to go <laughs> into the shake bathroom. It out. So I go to where I think the bathroom is uh-huh. on the other side of the store. Turns well, out, by the way, what turns out it's not there. What leads you to believe that the bathroom is over there? Because I go to this grocery store all the time. He was smelling the he was following his nose like toucan Sam, but for turds. <laughs> So, okay, so it's there. Turns out the bathroom is exactly where I just was. Oh, no. Uh, so you had to double back? I had to double back. You had to vacillate back. I had to vacillate back. When you got to put your jock strap down so the, if someone's next to you, they're going to see a jock strap on the floor. You also yeah, have to fill, hang it. Filled with shit. <laughs> you also have to hang your jock strap on the bathroom door because let people know that you're in there jerking it. Yeah. yeah. That's what I, yeah. I, I would always do that. So I run, a, you know, I get over there. I put my, I just leave my cart right outside the, the hallway to the bathroom. I go in there. Of course, you need a fucking code. You have to find an associate. Should have just kicked it down. I know. Why don't you do sixty nine four twenty? Is that what they're calling them now, associates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sales associate. That's yeah, he's this, like, uh, ah. Yeah. So are you a so luckily a I go grocery store associate? I go back down the hallway. Why is that funny to you? The lady's right there, and <laughs> I ask for the code. She gives me the code. The lady associate. Uh huh. Did you tell her that you're not fast lady between shitty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I think it's pretty obvious at that Excuse point. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm vacillated between shitting my pants and not shitting my pants. Code? Did you remember the code? Did you write it down? No, I just. It was what easy. was it? Was it star sixty nine? It was ten thirty one pound. The was code. Really? The oh. code is due to homelessness. It's like, they, it's like Halloween pound. Yeah, they cause uh, the codes. And I go in there, and it, I'm a, I'm assuming a, a store bathroom is gonna be a oneer, but luckily the door opens, so you know if there's nobody probably in there. And of course, I go in. Someone's in the handicap stall shitting. Uh, <laughs> fuck! So you had to and shit and like in loudly. The and so you couldn't get your wheelchair into the regular stall. No, I just couldn't. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be sitting right next to this dude. Like the other stalls were right next to him. It's small. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta change. Uh, out were of this. you worried that the handicap guy was gonna be like, I thought I had problems. Well, I have to yeah, change out of this. Fuck my wheelchair. This guy's got a jock strap. What was I doing? I gotta oh, change out of, it. of me. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Not only have to shit, but I also have to change out of it. And, and if you're looking, oh. you could see that happening what were you beneath gonna, the stall. What were you going to do with the jock strap? Where are you going to put it? That was my other concern. You play, <laughs> you wait, you play softball in a onesie? What? No. Hold on. You were this guy off. has to get all the way naked <laughs> at the grocery store. You had to no, take I'm off wearing, a jock strap and people were going to see it? What I'm are wearing the, pants. Are there beaded curtains? I'm wearing pants, shorts, jock strap, underwear. Just so, pull it all down. No one's going to be like, oh, that's weird. This guy's a jock strap in there. If I had to shit they film immediately, it yes, that would be. I thought this is you were vacillating between immediately and not. It turns out I have a little more control than that. Okay. Did you live stream this thing? No, no, no. So I go to the urinal. I stand there for a little bit. And luckily, he's quick. Like, he's in and out. 
Thank God. Probably because he was doing all that. But you wanted a fresh, warm seat to sit on, too, right? So you're happy. He, he, certainly. He was just looking for a blowjob, that guy. Yeah, probably yeah, he was... Maybe, uh, yeah. There was he, a lot of tapping. He just brought his wheelchair and then emptied his colostomy bag. It wasn't, a, was it wasn't a handicapped guy at all. I mean, he's Well, then why didn't you beat him up for taking up the <laughs> handicap stall? That, you know that that's for people in wheelchairs and guys who have to wear jock straps. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's untaken, yeah, you should be able to But someone up. might come in and they might be desperate. Then they you get up. You have to get up. Vacillating between... Shittilating in the <laughs> underwear. You do run that risk if you're in there. It's quite titillating. And luckily, the guy, the the inside that handicap stall is also the baby changing table, which is down. So you could change your baby. So I was able there. to. Is that? Did you sit on that and then take off your jock? No, no, he, no. He, I was he able put, to set it there. You put the jock strap on a baby changing <laughs> stable. 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 Yeah, probably, yeah. Stable of horses <laughs> with babies in them. <laughs> so I go to the bathroom. It's fine. It's not. It's not. It wasn't as near nearly. As catastrophic as it as it felt like it was going to be, how much it was just a matter grease, of how much nut grease was on where people uh, put the baby heads. No, uh, this guy said no. <laughs> how much baby grease was on your Nuts. jock strap? You never know. <laughs> did true. you feel like maybe I just needed to get that jock strap off? I mean, that's the whole thing. Is I needed. Did you to have get to cut it off surgically? Off. No, okay. I just had to pull it off. Uh, so I do all that. I get out, and I get so out it was there. just a little shit. Yeah, just a little bit. You're like, well, this but was then it overblown. Is like, where do I, all my vacillations were Where wrong. do I put this jock? Like, I'm thinking about where do I put this cup? Because this thing, in I have eventually just go with it in my pocket of my, my sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to wear it on top of your head, <laughs> like a yarmulke. You should have just, <laughs> just thrown it away. Dude, Why how you? mad would people be if a guy walked down the street with a jock strap on in the yarmulke position? I don't think they would even associate the two together, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They wouldn't think that was biting commentary. No, would they? they would They would not. think that's a homeless guy with a jackstrap on his head. Yes. <laughs> they wouldn't even give him the dignity of thinking he was being anti-Semitic. No. <laughs> why? Uh, so why? So is that the end of the story? No. So, I mean, I'm walking around the store th with this. Oh, thing. it falls on the floor, you no, motherfucker. No no no, 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 no. It didn't fall on no, the floor. Oh, the dog made, gets What do you think no. people are going to be like? Is that a the guy? security guard made you pay for it. He th no, didn't no, believe no. you. No, they're I like, you're Why stealing. don't we just let him finish this yeah. fucking tale? I got to do what I got to do, man. Okay? <laughs> I can't control myself. <laughs> I noticed. The fucking story's too exciting. I got to know All what right. happened. What happened after that? So my main concern then is walking around like, okay, should I throw this in one of our, you know, uh, reusable bags just so it's out of the way because I'm worried. You have a jockstrap bag? I'm No, just a reusable shopping bag. Well, you bags. have a reusable bag? Shopping bag. Yeah, why would you oh, throw yeah. it in there? Are you pushing a cart? No, you you, your wife would be pushing so a mad cart, if yeah. you had a nut cup oh, I leave my grocery jocks, bag. I leave just, my cup all over the place. She's just throwing it in the cart. Or You'd I'm like, like, oh, it was in here. If it's know. in my pocket, does it oh, look no, like I've shoplifted something? I don't think they sell that cups. That is my concern, I don't too. think they sell cups. No. The I panicked when you no. said you put it in your pocket because a security guard will stop you. Yeah, thinking they, I shoplifted anything. And he'll pull it out. Yeah, and like, be no, like, it's my jock. I just yeah. touched your jock. Now I have to kill you. you just be like, why are you, on my, why are you on my jock? <laughs> yeah. And then you, you throw go, it in his face and you yeah. run. Why are you on my jock, man? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you so, my name's Jock Cousteau. I ended up keeping it in Jacques my pocket. Check out. Everything's fine. Check out. Uh oh. You get but followed by security. No, no, no. Followed by security. Check. I was. Those were all my concerns as as it went along. So pay for your item. So what happened? So did you make it to the car? You should have. Yeah, it was totally fine the rest of the night. Yeah, because I had it. What off. happened I, when you got home? He washed his sweatshirt because he had a jock strap in it. Did you blog about I, this? I did not. No. I did not wash it. He washed his sweatshirt. It. The jock strap was still in there, and it got all over all the oh. other clothes. No, oh, my no. <laughs> no, my sweatshirt is right there. And Do I'm, you think that, were you worried people could, why did you just put the jock strap or the cup back on? You worried people could see it? No, it, it hurts. It hurts to wear it for you a long period of time. You need a bigger fucking cup, dude. Yeah. I ran into this with medieval reenactments. I had to get the Duke Legrand. And, like, <laughs> you you need a bigger cup, bro. It needs dude, to be Dude, stop deeper. trying to act like you don't have a giant cock, Aaron. Yeah. The Duke <laughs> Legrand sounds like a dancing I cup. did it for my big old sloppy nuts. but um, I want to say this is the highest size it goes, but I... I Whoa. Might oh, you were in the Magnum. Head. They might make... Be. They make. Listen to me. They make ones that are deeper and wa that you won't believe. Yeah. They deeper, make dude. big... They they make, stop uh, trying to be like one of us, Aaron. You're a big dick motherfucker. I they, think it's just the get the fuck out of our group. They make the Matumbo. I think it's normally it's just that real big a number of elastic bands that are just on my waist and it just hurts and you know. 
So you're pe- you were because pe- I'm wearing three layers because it's cold. Maybe you should wear a loincloth, a little looser. Definitely. Yeah. Also, why don't you take the rubber Chain bands? Chainmail loincloth. That way, it protects you. Do you rubber sweet. band your uh, dick and balls together before you put them in the cup? Because you're supposed to. <laughs> That's it. It's supposed to happen. No, I'm not a bull. Well, have you? What, what, what bull puts balls and dick together in rubber bands? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, how they get plays the, baseball. that's how they ride them. <laughs> no, they put the strap over their nuts. Get some angry. Yeah, they put their straps over the nuts. They don't rubber band their dick and balls. <laughs> have you ever been hit in the balls? <laughs> uh, yeah, in softball, not, not in the balls. I've been hit in the tip uh, once. With the penis. That's is really what he means. Really? Cup yeah. or no cup? It's, oh, thank this you. was the <laughs> last time I didn't wear a cup. Ah! Oh! How did he not hit the balls? This guy's got a huge hog. Yeah. Yep. Or so, just or just expertly placed. Yeah. Also that. What happened to your tip? Was it bruised? It fell off. It bur- I mean, it burns like that. Ball's coming fast burns, and spinning burns, with the seams. Burns, burns. Did it change the color of your penis? No. Softball of fire. Softball um, of fire. Well, I'm glad you made it out <laughs> of there without someone finding out you had a cup right in the tip. You know, I mean, it's, it's the things you worry about. That's I say true. you just you you get rid of it, roll the dice, see what happens. Oh, I don't know. I thought about <laughs> it. I thought about it. Why don't you just it put does a cause uh, me tremendous pain? Well, while you build a piece of plywood like a a square. Yeah, with with no back on it that you can. S- pitch around You're like it's not the cup it's the cube or just bring in yeah. uh what it's do you not call the, mound. the uh the netting that the people they use yeah uh no yeah pitch behind that are you saying you should wear netting no fish nets the guy who played after me does wear a full-on like lacrosse helmet uh, really for safety what yeah. kind of pussy league do you play in Dude, these balls come back. I caught, like I said, I caught a ball earlier this season. Some of these balls are, miles was coming hour. like eighty not miles an hour ball. at my face. No, softballs travel about it's 14, not soft. Fifteen miles. There's an nothing hour. soft about it. It's I heard they go four miles an hour. <laughs> Is that true? Unless Nolan Ryan throws them. Have you ever done a TED talk where you say there's nothing so- soft about softball and you want to change the name to hardball? I mean. That's <laughs> big, 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 big hard ball. ball. They call it big. Everyone's hard like, ball. look, these co- these women playing the game are tough as nails. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> why they all wear helmets. Aaron, you might want to try my new system. I'm selling a three part series. It's called Knock on Wood. <laughs> and you knock on wood, and these things won't happen. Have you ever tried to push your um, dick between your balls, but then it ends up going into your butthole while you got the <laughs> jock strap on? I think no. that's the answer, as we all know, a lot. What is going on? <laughs> all right. Well, Aaron, I would do that sometimes with medieval reenactments. Will you stop bringing this around to medieval reenactments? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> medieval reenactments? Exactly. That's exactly Why what I said. you keep talking about medieval reenactments? Because I want to talk about pushing my penis into my You're butthole. You're just trying to find common ground. You're like, this reminds me of my competitive days in medieval reenactment tree. Off in the distance, <laughs> the game's dragging on. I push my dick between one time my I, balls. One time I was balls. pitching at the medieval reenactment. Did P- you play? Pitching a pitchfork. Did they yeah. play softball? No, we play other games. What do you play? Ring Stab toss? Stab the guy in the cage. Huh? <laughs> That's you not know. real. Yeah, we did. What is stab the guy in the cage? What is that? Pin the tail on the donkey? There was this party that we used to go to called Pent Wyvern Goes to Hell. And it was uh, this campground called Pent Wyvern. And they would do like a, a medieval version of hell. And Satan would appear at the end of the night and he'd throw baby dolls into a fire. And they're all covered in magnesium. So it turn green. Probably good to breathe in. Yeah, probably not good. <laughs> yeah, probably not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> we would go, they would have guys in cages and you could stab them with spears. But I hurt my hand real bad. What? Fake, fake stabbing a guy? He, I was wasted, and he grabbed the spear and pulled it all Probably the way Probably because you were him. really jabbing him? Yeah. <laughs> and then he pulled me into the cage and like, fucked up my knuckle. Oh, my knuckle. Hurt. He pulled you all the way in or just your arm? Pulled me all the way in. <laughs> How wide are the bars? Pretty wide, but I was also wasted. <laughs> what? It's not even a, it's not so, even a cage. <laughs> you were wasted so they what, could squeeze you through the bars? Yeah. Uh-huh. Your body was just that loose. That was the night I fucked that uh, um, fat wife in front of her husband. Memories. With a a bloody (laughs) knuckle. (laughs) It's it's real hot. Were you playing bloody Uh, knuckles with her? Yeah, I played bloody knuckles with her pussy. Dude, I feel like watching this reenactment would be watching like a bunch of fucking pigs slopping mud <laughs> like it's just sweaty dirty people okay just fucking rolling around so what mud. to that i say so what aaron i'm glad you made it out of there so we need to find you a better bigger jock strap have you ever thought about a folgers can 
You Never? could shit in it too if you have another emergency. Yes, you could put one on each end, one, one on, on the balls, beach and end. one on the other end. One for the balls, one for the ass. Yeah. What about like a banana peel, but you paper mache it? So it's hard? Yeah. So it just protects your dick? Yeah, you just slide it right in. We all know that paper mache is the hardest substance <laughs> on earth, and it's OSHA rated for safety. Why don't you paper mache a banana and then two coconuts? You just slide it <laughs> oh, over. Oh, yeah. You could do a coconut, and you could be like, I'm Island Aaron. And Does your wife ever complain? Say. She's like, your, this cup is too small. You're a big dick son of a bitch. Yeah, put it in the big a- cup. Aaron. Act like it. Don't be embarrassed to go buy that big cup. This just in. It is, I do wear the largest size they make. Oh, Whoa. There you how go. many inches is that rated for? <laughs> how, many, how many limp inches is that rated for? <laughs> it's not safe. Is, it, is, this, is it this one? The savage? That's what I, that's what I look <laughs> like. It's like DJ Cal. That's exactly what I look like before Tammy pegs me. Except it's, you wear a neon green? I have a green one, yeah. Neon green job? I have a neon green, but it's green. Who, that's a, <laughs> who's the model for this? It's DJ Khaled. Uh, is that how you look right there? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like Anthony Anderson in the face a little bit. Yeah. Anyway. I have a structured sentence. Let's start the show. Okay. I got a special letter here. That's oh. a handwritten letter. Handwritten. Where I did went, it come I went from? to get my check the other night at the comedy store, and the manager's like, you have a letter in there, which I, I didn't know they even got letters there anymore. This is from, I think, like March. A little, a little late. Yeah. So uh, let me read it here on the air. Wait, they didn't tell you until just now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you guys don't send things to the comedy uh, store. Also, there's a balloon for you. Oh, a grenade balloon. Blow it up. Uh, also, I'll be saying. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to blow this up. <laughs> put, do it. Blow it up. I don't want to fucking put my mouth on it. Why? Um, <laughs> also, the, it was in the comedy store for three months. <laughs> keep in mind, the comedy store is a comedy club, not a post office. So why would they tell you you have anything there? Okay, but some people send you guys stuff. I know, but time. they're like, yeah, I don't fucking keep Here's, track of this. Uh, is that typed out. what is that oh a drawing for do it it's a titty and no a butt. is it a drawer drawer ring. a drawer ring it's a titty and a butt so okay. there you go here's the letter i read this in the parking lot and it caused me a little bit of confusion uh here we go keep pushing forward don't go back and read anything just keep reading new words for the magic to work in cicero illinois a grandmother named laughlin montgomery who had a very profitable tobacco business Got this letter. She won $4 million uh, from a, a chain lottery letter. ticket. This is our chain letter. We got our chain letter finally. Yeah. That took, I took me till the middle to the bottom to realize that. I was like, what the fuck Let's am I Let's send reading? this to Aaron right away. Yeah. We have it. We could give it to him we right ha- now. We have to. <laughs> you have to mail this. <laughs> Aaron, listen closely because you're going to want to hear this. You got that. Fa- I had no I, I was like, I had no. Not. Uh, I got to like the third paragraph. I this has gone international, by the way. This has gone to to south africa it's gone to it's the been uk australia? it's been to the australia beardos touched it this Be- very copy I'm sure maybe or just the letter in general probably the letter in general they probably printed off at kinko's who are we going to send this one to ghostbusters <laughs> <laughs> that's going to aaron aaron's got to mail it out to relatives you want to blow this up no i'm good I've, I've yeah no shit i have lung damage but you told me on the way in here you i got probably the strongest lungs of any beach yeah, i can't wait to blow up a balloon <laughs> yeah i'll show you how hard i can blow up a balloon you did say that let's see how fast he can do it ready all right God set it. you have to don't disrespect people here, here he goes <laughs> the end of the letter says he put that in his ass yeah it's the ps Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that is the tiniest balloon. That's I've ever how big seen. it goes. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little dinky grenade. Can I pop it? Yeah, it's just a little dinky. Do you have a popper? Can yeah, I? I have a I have a specific balloon popper. Ready? It's, oh shit! Where's my sharpest key? Okay, ready? <laughs> he goes. Do I have a knife? Here's my sharpest key. I know, my uh, watch your hands. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is a real powerful one. It's military grade grenade. Uh, uh. There are videos. Pop it, man! I'm trying. I don't have any. I'm scared. You have to pop it. My wife has the keys with the knife on them. There's video. uh, 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 There's uh, videos uh, online of people popping. Ah! There it goes. Pop. That scared me. That scared me. Okay. So the balloon, the grenade blew up. Hey, camper says I. Oh, your fingers. I sent that chain. Oh, it smells like white pee pee. 
Uh, do you think there was a dick turd on it? He carried those, he said, when he was putting out wildfires, yeah, the grenades. Did. Give me some of that. Just spray my hand. Thank you. He said, Andrew, that uh, those were in his wife's vagina for four That's weeks. That's fine. I Wait, is he, on, is he on the chat? He's right here. Okay. If it's in her pussy or her ass, I'm fine with it. I don't care. He didn't say that. All right. Made it up. So let's right. read Damn this. Damn it. What? I was okay. super excited. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that counts as another bang. His grandmother, <laughs> blah, 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 she, she won $4 million from a lottery ticket, but it turned out to be a scammer lottery ticket that ended up costing her $100,000. Whoa. She died two months later, and it's rumored that she was Al Capone's old lover. They found Whoa. black and white dick pics in her dresser, and experts think they're the Capone bone. <laughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt became president of the United States. That's right. We're talking about the president. He sent the letter out before the election, and the rest, as they say, is history. But he thought he sent it to all 69 people. It turns out he only sent it to three. And you know what happened? He was paralyzed from the waist down. He'd have to hide it by speaking behind big podiums. That's true. Speaking of, have you heard of the new rapper, Big Podium? He may be the fattest guy I've ever seen, but women love this. He's my personal hero. He's not a gangster rapper. He's a fart rapper. Some people like to put him down and call him a fart rapper, but they don't understand what Big Podium does. This is the first fart rap. It reference. Yeah. If you've never yeah. seen a man fart in front of a live audience, you don't know what you're missing. It Combine that with his charisma, showmanship, and stage show, and it turns into a religious experience. You get the point. Millions of people have sent this letter out, and now they're all billionaires. Warren Buffett got this letter in the 50s. Look what happened to him. Jimmy Buffett got it in the 60s, and look what happened to him. Old Country Buffet got it in the <laughs> 80s, and we all know where that went. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. But you won't have to if you send this letter out because you'll become a billionaire. Or millionaire. It's up to you. But keep in mind, like Big Podium used to fart out, more billions, more rival flavin'. Anyhow. <laughs> That's you. You always do the riboflavin'. Big riboflavin'. Nonsense. Anyhow. God damn. You lean on that riboflavin' I did the Delano Roosevelt, I too. Take off my pants. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm wheelchair bound and only have two days to live. Help me live my dream before they pull the plug. I made a pact with my old high school pal. We said if we ever become wheelchair bound, the other would come and smother them with a pillow. <laughs> but I want to live. We sent that out as a chain letter and too many people died as a result. What a regret among many in my life. Peace be with you and with you. I've got a trick for Jamie when he gets here. It's called the knife hidden in my mouth. Next time you hear from me, I may be on the lam for murder self-defense. I love you all. That's from Fiddlesticks Magentix on March Oh, and he, does he not like his wizard name? Because there's a guy in the comments who says he doesn't like his wizard name. Well, hold on. Name. Let's he talk about this down. letter. Let's get Aaron. We need to give this to somebody before we get bad luck. Aaron, do you accept the letter? You or? have to mail it to somebody, Aaron. It's I a chain letter. I don't want it. Oh, you, that's it's gonna be yeah. softball loss. Oh, dude, I don't even that's want to know. Good. I, I, I don't know. want to say this, but like he's gonna shit his pants at the grocery I, store. I am worried. <laughs> They're gonna you're gonna be arrested for stealing a cup from from Whole Foods because we wrote the letter, so we're free of sin. Lightning's gonna. And we still have to get rid of it. Lightning's. You gonna can't strike. hold it. That's bad. That's bad mojo, man. Somebody I, in the comments, give me your address and I'll mail it to you. Somebody take responsibility. No, I'm mailing it to Aaron. We don't know. It a, He's not going to forward it. We'll mail it here to Aaron. But he'll just stop it. I guess we could keep sending it Man, to him. Man, he'd be so mad if they're like, we got mail for you. <laughs> I'm mailing it <laughs> to <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> fucking stupid ass letter. Let's mail it to a prison. No, let's mail it. To, well, let's make copies. And I'm mailing it to Aaron today. Dude, I'm right here to ATC. Mail God. it to Bill Burr. Are you sure you want to do something like that? And then say. <laughs> He's not going to know it's me. Say, by the way. If Aaron doesn't. When you snitch. saw those bears, you really blew it. What if we say, yeah, we're like, we thought of these list of jokes you could have used instead. Jeez. And then type up like, what, we do 45 minutes of bear humping bits? Next time you come across some bears fucking in someone's yard, use these. Yeah. Consider these the bear necessities. <laughs> it's just those. So you won't, you won't mail this out, Aaron, even though they potentially could bring you fortune. And you who rule. Someone's fame. going on a big softball hitting slump. Name's Aaron. I predict you'll lose the championship and most of your games. Why would you? Why are you doing this crazy I, shit? I'm telling you because of the letter. This guy heel turned on you, Aaron. Did you notice it? Oh, yeah. Nah, dude. I already got just knocked on wood. Oh, uh, he's using my patented system. It That's the patented on heel knock yeah. on wood lock system. But it doesn't work. Have you read all? It doesn't of work my, with chain letters. Have you read my whole or watched my whole series of DVDs on knock on wood? Because you just did it, and that yeah. was a test. Yeah. Can we sell the slab you carry around in your pocket so you always have wood to knock on? I think you and I should sell this I'm for I'm going real. to. And I'm going to sell a DVD series called Knock on Wood. It's a slab or it's like hurt. a small piece? How do I? Yeah, knock on wood. What can it hurt? 
Yeah. <laughs> you can only be able to do good things. It should be like the size of your knuckle, and you, you can just tap it in your pocket. Yeah, that that's what it is. To me. Yeah. No, he said slab. I mean, like a big. Oh, no, no, no. I think it goes on your keychain, so you always have wood to knock on. Or it could be a ring just right on your knuckle. A wooden ring? <laughs> yeah. Have you looked into making wooden rings? They break really easy. I have, actually. The ring is the, is the weakest of all of all wood shapes <laughs> wood shapes <laughs> the uh do you knock on wood a lot aaron no well you will now <laughs> with my patented system would you rather knock on wood or would you rather take this letter and mail it to somebody i'd rather knock on wood. there's not one person what kind of question no, i'm saying that? i'm saying rely on the knocking on wood system not just one time oh he's saying would you rather rather knock on wood forever yes or yes. be free and clear. Yes. No, you Just don't send have to the letter out. Hey, they. And you're done. You're done. Right? Hands, you're done. <laughs> you, you know that's it. That's in my fourth DVD. <laughs> Never knock on wood again. I love it when you two guys try to fucking <laughs> manipulate someone. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I'm just asking As opposed question. to you, the master manipulator. Yeah, they do call me the master manipulator. Ah, yeah. He goes, all right, guys. <laughs> Dude, I have Please. a funny idea. Wouldn't it piss off O'Neill if you actually did mail it out? <laughs> <laughs> Knock on wood. Hey, you said it was because I told you to do it. There's got to be somebody you can mail it. Also, let me ask you this. I'm So I will mail it to you today. It comes here. They go, hey, Aaron, you got some mail. Are you going to throw it away? Yeah. Oh. You son of a bitch. Aren't you going to like look at it for a minute and be like, that, that was pretty funny, though, before you throw it away? <laughs> Aren't you going to steam off the stamp so you can reuse it? <laughs> what if we put a coupon in there for a cup? Would you keep that at least? <laughs> Where are you going to find a coupon for a fucking You've cup? You've never seen them? <laughs> get them a gift John card. Strap coupons. <laughs> Google it, please. Let me see if there's I bet John you can Strap get a coupons. gift card for cups. The Duke look Cups are us. The grand. Cups are us. You can get them at Play It Again Sports. A used uh, jock. <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of these jocks are just for hard dude on dude fucking. They're not for. That's what do you mean? Else. How do you use a cup for hard dude on dude fucking? You use the jock. He said, "Turns everyone on." No, I know, on. but the jock strap is. That we're talking about. What do you the mean? Cup. It turns everyone on. This is definitely for fucking. That's a. Look He's got that. the fucking <laughs> dick, the dick balls dick. out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it's also on wolf.com. It's called the wolf free ball jock. <laughs> free ball jock. This does nothing for Let's you. Let's read the copy. All the push and none of the smush. Turns growers <laughs> turns growers into showers. What? Yeah, because there's it, nothing there. You're still a grower. It turns showers into a traffic hazard. Ah, oh. made for guys who need support but prefer going commando. The wolf freeball jock copywritten Honestly, is a soft, comfortable waistband waistband with our exclusive floating anti roll package. Can you send this to me for real? <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm gonna buy it. Hold on. What is because the point? Sold. Oh my god. So why wear underwear? So just so you don't get shit this in your is, pants? No, this is just, it supports your nuts, but I could get pegged. No, no, it doesn't this support your nuts. Out. There's nothing there. Yeah, it does, man. It's just like around it. So it supports around it. Dude, it your pants you. are going to stink like I'm not going to wear them for cheese. pants. This is dick cheese. <laughs> So you're going to wear that while this you're fucking? Guy, first of all. I'm how much support do your nuts need while you're fucking? While I'm getting That's pounded. just going to get pussy juice all over it. You just don't want your balls to flap. It's just for me getting po poked in the ass. Can I see some more of the... Uh, Doesn't your wife love when the when your balls smack against her fucking clit? Uh, how does that happen while she's fucking me in the butt? They go backwards. Oh, they fuck you. They, they go under. Yeah, they do. They go all but if the they're too under. supported, they're not going to go under. No, yeah, they'll dude. be fine. Let, let's see the dummy. The dummy shows what it does. This? Yeah, not that. Oh, this? No, no, not that. This? This, yeah. The, look at this fucking shit. <laughs> it just looks like a rubber band Your around balls a guy. Are hanging out. Sack. Honestly, dude, if the I'm getting balls pegged, are that, hanging that out. looks painful. If I'm dude. getting pegged, this is how I want to do it. I'm going to get this. Why? I'm going to get this fucking thing. I take a picture it of this. It doesn't do website. anything. I'll what? send it to you if you want. Yeah, what does this me, do? Man. What does it do? Your balls aren't supported at all. They're supported. You don't have a hernia when you're getting fucked in the it ass. Says it, <laughs> what are you? Are you, are you are you doing squats while you're fucking? It says it keeps oh, yeah. your boys up and out of the way at the gym or during any physical activity, while at the same time lifting and enhancing everything up into the fuller view under any clothing, including swimsuits, athletic shorts, even jeans. Increasing your imagine resting, wearing this with jeans, by the way. Increasing your resting package size is really this easy and discreet. Oh, it's like it's like a butt lift. Yeah, it's, it's like when you wear it's, a dick, a ball it's the high heels for your dick and balls. This is a Brazilian dick. It lift. is. In fact, it lifts the ass. This lifts the dick and balls and really makes it protrude. When I would go out to dinner with my old boss, he would always say, 
Make sure you wear, you know you wear the high heels with the balls tonight. Yeah. So this is great. <laughs> it's great for when you have kids. Yeah. So they're like, Dad, I, I can never see your dick and balls. Now you can right through the pants. They're like, where is it? I don't even. This we'll, is where, your, where a part of your body. I'm is not going to wear this casually. This is for horny my times. biggest complaint is guy, most guys walking around aren't lifting their dick and balls so that they protrude through the pants. You don't pants. ever get mad that only women are allowed to wear lingerie? All the time. Yeah, no. I, any, it's unfair. Anybody's allowed to wear lingerie. It's, it's, un, it's, it's unfair. fucking unfair, dude. It's unfair. They make male lingerie. <laughs> wear not it. good stuff. Oh, not, oh, damn it. I don't get to wear the fun stuff. It, it is unfair as shit. This is finally leveling the playing field. I don't like lingerie anyway. I think it's stupid. Give me the nude. I, I want full it. nude. I sometimes love it, though. You want? You want I like a that. nice pair. Of, of panties i uh, don't give me the lace and crap give me just a real nice bright colored pair give me a pair of like bright blue or thongs. teal panties thongs or panties i mean a- anybody like real panties oh so like granny panties yeah like granny. no like underwear we like should a get, woman like a woman wear we nah. should reach out to wolf see if they'll uh, bring you on as a new wolf boy oh maybe you could be ah and when and, we got sponsorship <laughs> andrew the wolf boy <laughs> He was raised by Wolf. <laughs> and I put raised by Wolf. I'd have to take the most embarrassing Instagram That is photos. a good slogan, raised by Wolf, because it's raising yeah. your dick and balls. That's yeah. true. And we came up with it. <laughs> we better get in touch with it. Can them. we get that copy and we'll record that copy <laughs> for him? This is a sample. <laughs> if you like what you hear, $300 a month will get you raised by Wolf. Raised by Wolf. I'll, put, I'll wear a new one every fucking month. Keep sending them to me. James says that Andrew wore lingerie on Daddy Knows Best, and that's true. I yeah. did. I got real turned on by it, and exactly. I let my wife fuck me in the butt while I was wearing that lingerie. Well, can I will on, say this. On the set. You played a, you played a male prostitute, uh-huh. and when we left the set, you, you kept working the corner. That's not true. But those, Again, I saw a guy pull up, and you got to do his car. Remember those Persian guys came, and they just wanted to take pictures of me? Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, buddy. And you're like, this is a. We, we, we won't film the rest of this scene so these guys can take pictures with, of me dressed up. He goes, <laughs> women's lingerie. He goes, when you, when you stop filming, we'll be back. They sent it back to uh, Iran. And Did you people were killed? Guys? Dude, it was crazy. I had my bare ass cheeks on that scumbag seat. Um, What's who? scumbag? Because we had that the guy hanging out in the uh, car, it was keeping the car warm. <laughs> and I go into the car. <laughs> <laughs> Sit a bare ass on his seat. Were you wearing a jock strap underneath it? Uh, uh, no, I wasn't. Were you wearing a wolf to get that? I extra... was wearing a thong, remember? Well, were you wearing a and wolf? I showed Ren Azizi and he threw up. He almost threw up in his mouth. <laughs> what kind of underwear is that? He started dry heaving. He goes, Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> he goes, Oh my God, Holmes. I got to throw up in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I got to call some friends, man. He's like, All my friends. Remember? Like the low rider. I was on set and I got into that guy's car, and you're like, Who is that guy? He's not associated with us. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he goes I don't know but I got 50 bucks he goes, he goes, and I him, acted out a scene have him keep on getting in his car 24 bucks for a, a wolf honestly great price I'm definitely going to get this it this guy goes I love the prices <laughs> I love the product I was raised by wolf I can't get enough of it what colors do they have uh, I don't see. can I see how it makes his butt look on that picture <laughs> Sure. Yeah, they spread the cheeks on there, and they go. That makes the hole look looks so like a, impressive. It's like just it's. I mean, just a strap around his waist. Accents. Accents. It looks like it's like wearing a headband. What do you mean an accent? It's just a finger on his waist. I a belt. Do a summertime we, Andy hey, situation. Will, with will you kiss the screen? <laughs> it's Jeff's computer. <laughs> Jeff, if it was would my. Would you computer, let him kiss the I, screen? I will allow. You gotta allow. Uh, it. Give, give me that. So there's a naked man's ass with a headband above it. And you're going to kiss the screen. Give it a little smooch. <laughs> it's a shaved ass. It looks great. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he kissed it. He yeah, kissed it. it. <laughs> you did it so romantically. <laughs> he, he, I saw your tongue. He goes like this. He went in real soft and, went, and puckered up. And then he gave it a good old fashioned. Just a just a real nice soft kiss. What's weird is I saw the guy's cheeks spread just a little bit. Yeah, I saw him quiver. I would eat this guy's ass. I would eat this guy's ass for sure. That's Aaron in the picture. Yeah, that's not Aaron. Aaron, come on down. Aaron does not shave his butt cheeks, dude. How do you know? How he dare be, you? He'd be bitching you? about having pimples after he did it. He's, he's, to go, he's, gonna say he's it. always bitching about pimples. <laughs> dude, you get pimples on your ass. But why would he bring that up unsolicited? Like, because oh, that's what pimples. happens. What's he doing? All these pimples on my ass really bugging me today. Because we asked him about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he gonna add that? 
That's his whole day? His whole day is fighting these pimples on his ass. Every time I put nair on my ass, I'm good for three days, and then I get a pimple you, on my ass. this guy use OxyClean on his ass? You should. Uh, Aaron, would you... <laughs> that blue looks great. The blue and red. <laughs> Have you ever had your ass eaten, Aaron? No. Would you allow... For a billion dollars, would you allow Andrew to no, do it? No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Andrew... For a billion, how do you know I'm talking about you? I know another guy named Andrew. Could they be, say the other and, guy named Andrew. Could be Andrew Schultz. So I know this guy named Andrew Schultz. <laughs> He's w- Charles Schultz's grandson. Would you do it, Aaron, for a billion dollars? I know this guy named Sam Drew Tripoli. Who's I don't know why the person would want to do it. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I know, but would you do it? Why? Well, no, it's, I think you're handsome. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a nice great, who, says, who says, I think you're handsome, let me eat that ass? Would you, like, I don't know. Is like, that how uh, it goes? I don't no. know. I don't know how your world works. Would you eat Holtzman's ass? I never. Why? Dude, fuck that. He how about a big clean. girl? Big girl keeps it nice and shaved. Yeah, yeah. but he's got hemorrhoids, and oh. that's going to be disgusting. How do you know? Just Sweet his cheeks. preparation age. You've been talking to Gabe gone? at Sweet Cheeks? Uh, what? You've been talking to his guy at Sweet Cheeks? Yeah, I have. I was like, how's that hole looking? He is uh, someone who goes to his house now. He won't even leave the compound. Uh, he's like, hey, full service. Does all kinds of stuff to you. He yeah, fixes jacks su- you off, sucks your dick. <laughs> fix your fridge. Fucks your ass. <laughs> then he fixes your coffee maker, then fucks your ass again. I won't fuck ass, but I'll get my ass fucked. Yeah, be cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so are you gonna buy this? <laughs> yeah, I'm Christmas? gonna buy it, dude. I see a stocking. Will you give stuffer. us? Uh, will oh, you... I'll get my stocking stuffed. All right. <laughs> will you give us a product review? Yeah. I will. will you wear uh, it and show it to us? How? how well I don't know how. I mean, I, I'm worried about us getting shut down on YouTube if my wiener walks blur it out. out. This is going live. <laughs> You're gonna have a wiener, your wiener whopping around. Do you have a, a wiener put... whop, a wiener whop, a wiener whop, a wiener. You're gonna have a wet ass in penis. the jock strap, the tiny <laughs> jock strap. Andrew prances around. <laughs> in the jock strap, the sexy jock strap. Andrew pounds his mound. Pound town. <laughs> <laughs> a wiener whapper, wiener whapper, wiener whapper, wiener whapper. The wiener whapper wiener is another whapper, product. Wiener yeah, it's not by Wolf. It's a whip. Yeah. You sick of your wiener not getting whapped? Yeah. Get the wiener whapper. Hush, my darling. Be still, my darling. You're getting pegged tonight. <laughs> That's wrong. I don't know, man. I've got a weird energy going. You just kissed my screen. <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> sorry dude i didn't know she was taken all right oh if we were how if we if we just do a series of naked dudes we just kiss, them. <laughs> kiss naked. should i just bring in my ipad so i could kiss my own ipad screen for you guys would you have your ipad is just do you want me to just bring up pictures of wangs on my phone and kiss them so you guys can laugh at me what kind of segment <laughs> idea is that it's a good one this guy kisses pictures of penises <laughs> On his phone! What about balls? I'll do that. Fine. You want me to do that for a segment? Is it true to unlock your iPad? You have to kiss a certain area and it's just asses right there? It says balls and ass. (laughs) And you just go... (laughs) You have to make the exact sound. Great audio, Jeff! (laughs) Fantastic! Was that a YouTube video you had queued up? Yep. (laughs) This guy sat through a whole State Farm commercial so he could do that. Fuck her up. Unbelievable <laughs> segment idea. Andrew kisses pictures of balls on his phone. It's yeah. for the people watching the video. It'll kill 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. How's that going to kill? What are you guys going to do? Oh, oh, he did it again. Oh, fucking, this is the gayest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> no, he's kissing them more. <laughs> and then more kissing. You can do different styles. And every once we'll throw the titties in there and we'll laugh at those. He's kissing the titties. He the kisses street. the titties. He does. He loves it all. We can see what you like better. How are you going to tell? We can just see what you what, what kisses you're more excited <laughs> for. <laughs> you look at the tw- for the twinkle in my lips. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck that's, is that? That's John Little oh, kiss no. on the screen. How do you not know that? <laughs> I don't remember. You don't know what John Little kissing sounds like? Uh, he would kiss the screen. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't care. Yeah, bring that sand over here. Hey, give me equal amount of titties and pussy to dick and balls. He goes, oh, no, I got to tell you, I'm starting to feel a little sick doing all this gay shit. (laughs) (laughs) My stomach's feeling a little tied up in knots. Uh, Maybe we we put you like somewhere with a table. You have a screen. 
and you do a kissing booth, but you just kiss the asses. The in people, people bring their big <laughs> pictures up to you for you to kiss. Or it could be their dead relatives' asses, and like you kiss it. How are people getting photos <laughs> of their dead relatives' asses? I don't know. Here's a picture of my parents. They made a porno video, and I took a still. Will you kiss it for a dollar? It's Andrew kisses. Your pictures <laughs> of naked men and women. Ask kissing Andrew. The booth. You could make a lot of money. Are we gonna do this as a segment? Do you remember how at you, a pumpkin patch? Do you remember how you got mad? <laughs> yeah, you remember how you got mad and missed it out. Naked on photo that? kissing. <laughs> You're getting it on the ground floor. Go or, in the photo booth, take a picture of your dick, bring me the picture, and I'll even kiss better. Yeah. I can double your money. You draw their ass like yeah. a, you do a caricature. No, of no. Their ass, then you he, kiss. Here's them. where the money is. The money is. We have a photo booth set up. You pay for the photo, and then it's like Andrew will kiss it. But the real money is in the $15 that you pay to have the photos taken of your asshole instantly printed out for Andrew to kiss. The ga- it's a hilarious gag, but also we're making money it's hand over fist. Andrew, Honestly, not that bad of a business idea. It's Andrew's no. X-rated photo booth at Family Pumpkin and, Patch. Andrew photo kissing booth. At no, Pumpkin it's, Patches for family. <laughs> It's Andrew <laughs> and Jeff Davis' world famous Christmas pumpkin patch. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Davis' Hanukkah. Did you say Christmas. Chef Davis? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Chef Davis' Hanukkah Christmas pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin patch. It's Andrew kisses everything. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I could take a picture of. Hey, uh, we'll have dog. Hey, here's a dog dick. It, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the the king of butts is here to kiss any picture you Andrew want. Andrew kisses everything. You, if you have a parrot, this guy, went, this guy waited less than a second to go to dog dicks. He, he can't. <laughs> it's been for a he while. He can't fucking he, wait. Yeah, he didn't go to children. Well, last yeah. night we were talking about butts <laughs> farting at the dinner table, and uh, uh, classic, classic take. On- and, and when he goes, "Yeah, what about dogs butt farting?" I was like, "You sound just like O'Neill, dude." Here it is, <laughs> Did you a- <laughs> dude. Do you think? Do you know how disgusted Norman Rockwell would be if he came in and had to paint the quintessential modern American family? It's you, your wife, your daughter sitting around talking about farts. That's the new Norman Rockwell America. You know what she said last night? Like, she picture a dog farting. You picture a monkey farting. We were laughing. <laughs> Norman yeah. Rockwell goes, I'm, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> we were laughing about stupid shit that didn't make sense. And uh, my daughter goes, are you guys going sea lion? <laughs> uh, she, we couldn't figure out what she meant. And she meant senile. Oh, sea but lion. She, but she was like, sea lion. she was like, I just thought it meant like, <laughs> you guys, like she's going sea lion. <laughs> you guys were like going crazy like a sea lion would, you know? <laughs> were you guys going? <laughs> they, they are known. They are known for going crazy. Okay, she's ocean. like, she's like, we're laughing and stuff. She's like, are you sure you guys aren't going sea lion? They're known for like uh, wandering around the streets without. <laughs> where am lost, I? <laughs> getting lost at the grocery store. <laughs> where are my keys? Hiding a cup in their pocket. <laughs> getting they, nervous. They do wear woof. They do. Get that dick and balls looking good. Tammy took a picture of a sea lion's penis once. It was erect while <laughs> Did you I was taking it a nap. For a I didn't kiss what? it. What? Where? Uh, we went up to. We went by Hearst Castle. Oh yeah, and they San the, Simeon. They had, yeah. dude. That's a big. It smells great there. Yeah. And he just had a big old boner during he was, that? He was sleeping next to a bunch of lady uh, sea lions. Just a women? Just a, a human and, woman? And he had a fucking huge boner while he was sleeping. How close did she get? Right up on it? Not too close. Was it sea lion run as easy? Yeah. yeah. Was like, I need a milking, Holmes. Did you uh, kiss the picture of the sea lion penis? I have answered this question. No. How I'm much uh, would you charge for that? You guys would pay me twenty. Is it one fee or do you charge? charge? No, no, I can two. find it now. I can find it now. It's and if you guys two. pay me some money, I'll kiss no, it. No, but do you charge for the picture? Or is it no, one? The picture is not part of the kissing. The kissing's separate. Okay. Kissing's a dollar. That's what lures them in. I used to get roped in on an hourly rate, but now that I'm freelance, I do it by the picture. <laughs> but people go, hey, oh, kissing booth only a dollar. I'll do that. But what they don't realize is you have to have a specific type of picture for him to kiss. Yeah. And I supply that. Andrew gets all the dollars. I get the fifteen dollars a picture. No, you'd, then you'd have no deal. Then go kiss your own dog dicks. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that like the go kick rocks? That's what he's saying. That would go be great. Kiss, kiss your, your own, own dog dicks. dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's your daughter's new one. How much you take? You want five dollars out of I that? I want fucking I, half of it. I have to drive the booth there. Okay, he has to clean it. You do an upfront cost on there? it. What's that? You, you paying up? You take cost? pictures. I'm, I'm paying ten cents a picture. Yeah, it's coming I'll, out of my end. I'll co- I'll cover that then. So don't worry about that, and I'll take the fifteen dollars too. 
Well, then, that, then, then where's my profit? Here, we're going to be the barker. I'll give you a No, commission. it's my idea. You get nothing. It was my idea. <laughs> I, didn't I was the one who kissed Jane Danish's screen. <laughs> he was. John I told Little, you to. John Little wants in. He wants to put a vending machine inside the photo booth. Is that true? <laughs> That'd be a huge photo booth. God, yeah, you're like, <laughs> make sure you buy a Coke or something. God, no. a while. I'm Here's hungry. even better. The vending machine just has different pictures that you could buy in order to have you kiss. If you oh. don't want to pay for your own personal photo, you can go get, like, Here's a horse cock that you can buy. It's E7. Here's another dog dick. <laughs> Dude, here's a shih tzu dick. Here's, here's a shitty dick. Here's a shitty dick. Here's a dog with a shitty dick. Here's a good dick. Here's another horse There's dick. some titties and a pussy. Here's Here, a baboon's penis. Here's Aaron's jockstrap. Yeah, here's Aaron. <laughs> He's in the machine. D4. Aaron comes out and goes, all right, Andrew's going to kiss my dick. Jeez. <laughs> If you want to incorporate the vending machine, that's how you make more money. And popcorn sales. Yeah. Yeah, you got to upsell them. And, I and, sell and they have to walk through this, this, the uh, gift shop. To and get, a mirror maze. I also <laughs> to get there. I take pictures of them kissing, of you kissing their picture, and I sell it on keychains in different sizes. Like a roller coaster. Oh, yeah. And then you take a picture of when I, their face when I kiss the picture of the dick that they show me. Yeah. And that's what they, we sell them. So then that's also a $20 package. So you go, I mean, this is just money. And you can upsell and you kiss them on the mouth. Yeah, but this is a Danish's uh, Hanukkah Christmas pumpkin patch. Yes. So he's going to want a cut of this too. Well, he's making, I'm bringing just people bring in business, for pumpkins. Yeah. I was bringing in the pumpkins. And oh, yeah. sells menorahs as well. <laughs> it sells. <laughs> What kind of fucking menorahs? <laughs> Dude, an outdoor menorah market is fucking crazy. At a to pumpkin me. patch. At a pumpkin patch. No one would buy it. By we're the gonna, way, we're going to drive the hay bale truck uh, <laughs> off to the menorah field and you guys can pick your own menorahs. <laughs> it's a tree. What if it's haunted? Ah, then you got to shake them out of the tree. <laughs> and they hit you in the face. And they go, hey, hey, you want to juice some of those menorahs or are you going to take it home with you? What do you want to do with them, son? You want to bake them in a pie? You want to juice them? <laughs> what if it's haunted, though, with old Jews? Old juice. <laughs> Old Jews are in there. Hey, get out of here. Hey, guys, this is for the juice. You can do a hayride, a Jewish hayride, where you go to, like, uh, there's some pastrami, get, get a sandwich. There's also an Indiana Jones <laughs> Jewish-themed, instead of that rock that he's running what away the from, fuck it's just... a giant matzo ball rolling down. Indiana Jones. That's it, the pumpkin patch? Yeah. An <laughs> Indiana Jones-themed matzo ball run? No, it, it is. It's Indiana Jews. <laughs> The, the, you the mean temple. Indian business? <laughs> and Indiana the, and, Jews? No, and the what temple. What the fuck are you saying? And the temple, and the Jewish temple. Of Indiana Jew, <laughs> Jews and the and the Jewish temple, temple of, of Shabbat. <laughs> <laughs> of Shabbat. <laughs> also, all Christmas trees come with a real pumpkin as a stand. You put uh, the pump. You put the and tree the roots the pumpkin. grow into the Christmas tree yeah. pumpkin, and it smells like shit after a week. <laughs> it just rots. There's birds coming in your house. Christmas birds for sale. <laughs> <laughs> you get your Christmas bird yet? We should open up uh, a Christmas. You what want, if you trade? You, you want two trade turtle in. doves? You want oh. four French hens? <laughs> what if they do trade it? Laying? What do you want? If you keep the Christmas tree all year, you can trade it in and get a discount. Partridge on the in a pear tree. Year. You trade it in. What if we do yeah. turtles, but we glue wings on them? We're like, this is a turtle dove. $700. <laughs> you, drew, you glue bloody dove wings on a turtle? And you got two turtle doves. Right here. Yo, why don't you just for the kids? <laughs> why don't like, you put... me now. There's why, blood. Don't you, why don't you put the shell on the fucking dove? This guy's thinking outside the bun. You de kill the turtle, by the way. Make turtle soup. Sell Delicious. it. Sell it there. <laughs> And then here's the shell. Christmas Jewish turtle soup <laughs> with a side of can, uh, funnel cake. Can Jews eat turtle soup? Sure. <laughs> Why would they be able to eat turtles? I don't know if it goes against kosher stuff. It probably does, but who cares? I think it does. I think reptiles aren't on the mark. Can you eat any reptiles? Jewish. Er <laughs> oh, snakes all day long. Is that true? <laughs> I don't know. There's probably rules about that, right? I'm going to look it up. The turtle is the most Jewish of all animals. It already has a yarmulke on its back. <laughs> I, hate, I hated that, but I I respect it. I hated it. Uh, James says that Andrew can glue two, two turtle doves on his shoulders. 
I don't know why. That's true. I can't. And you can kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> try to try. We tried to get flight. <laughs> what are you looking? You kiss in the screen. Dude, no, can, can Jewish you imagine? people? Can you imagine eat reptile? <laughs> can you imagine Andrew? <laughs> Glues? That's gonna flag me <laughs> oh, for like some crazy. <laughs> You're shit. gonna get some bad results on this. Can you imagine Andrew glues like fifty birds' feet to his back in order to try to achieve flight? Why would I glue Super birds' glue feet on my back? No, the whole bird. Oh. Well, you put their feet on there. Or oh, we, I thought it was cutting off And then they the lift feet. you up. Do you think that would work? How or many birds do you think? Huge, Google that. How many birds does it take to lift a guy? Or we could do huge balloons to see if we can Yeah, but everyone's doing flight. that. That's true. I don't know. Maybe if we got, what's like a big, a big bird? We'd have to get like six Vultures? bald eagles. All reptiles, amphibians, worms, and most insects are not kosher. Man, the Jews are missing out on that one. Can't even have a snake fry. Wait, can you? <laughs> hey, look up uh, how many how many pounds can a bald eagle lift? Okay. How many pounds can a bald eagle lift? Are you talking in the gym, or are you just talking? Not squats. I'm just saying. What, what does, does it say? say? Just kiss your screen. It says, how many pounds can a bald eagle lift at not squats? <laughs> bald eagles can carry around five pounds of weight at any given time. Okay, so you need, uh, how many are you going to need? How many five pounds are you? I'm 230. Five pounds. Divided so by three what's five divided by 230? Four. 230 divided by five. Yeah. 46 eagles. <laughs> 46 eagles on your body. How many is 40? How many? Super say, that's a lot body. of fucking eagles. <laughs> how many? That's, what that's I was a gonna lot say. of goddamn eagles. Somebody's going to drop back and go, that's a lot of eagles. But you're losing weight. So we could be down to 40 eagles before we 40 eagles is so many eagles. <laughs> that would be this whole room of Fine. eagles. Let's get down. We'll do it seagulls. Okay. Fine. Let's, seagulls might lift fine. heavier. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Get, maybe get, we're, maybe bald eagles don't lift that much. What lifts the most? Wake up okay. at 4 a.m. Get your 40 bald there's eagles. There's somebody. There's some that can lift. What bird sheep? lifts the most weight? Is this a soup joke set up? <laughs> eagles can lift the heaviest weight, and it's only five pounds. Fuck. That's why there are countries. What about when they, sh when they steal sheep? They don't steal Lambs. sheep. Lambs are pretty heavy. James cool. suggests getting a human-sized crow to fly you. Oh, with, yeah. or, or a crow with a human head. <laughs> no, or a crow. crow with a human penis. Remember when, uh, when uh, uh, O'Neill said he was going to turn into a human-sized crow? Yeah. So he would be a celebrity. <laughs> and he'd be able to eat all the steak dinners he wanted. What did we pick? At fancy restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> so terrifying. Did we pick ti we would we be tiny men? crow-sized humans. <laughs> <laughs> you should get parrots just for the flair of it. The colors. What? Parrots. Yeah, but uh, you would need a thousand. That's cool. You look up, you're like, oh, shit, like, look at that guy with a thousand birds. What about birds. a thousand How much can parrots lift? Hello. Let me lift you. <laughs> you could ha teach them all to talk. Ah, harpy eagles have been recorded to lift a capacity of up to 40 pounds. Oh, 40. shit. There we go. We've just but have seen. you seen how scary a harpy eagle yeah, is? You'll, you'll <laughs> oh, get over your that. fear. You're not going to see them. They're going to be on your back, glued to your back. You'll but they're, they're, I'm getting a lot of conflicting information. The heaviest recorded and verified weight of bird can lift is 15 pounds held by the bald eagle. But it says har har harpy eagles have recorded lifting a capacity of up to 40 pounds. Who are you going to? Have you ever heard of the... Uh, AZAnimalsandBirdGap.com. BirdGap? It's a great store. Have you ever heard of the Balls Eagle? <laughs> They're by Wolf. <laughs> Huge sack. <laughs> That's crazy. It's the only... The only bird With the that has a sack. <laughs> yeah. kind of Giant it. balls <laughs> on the tip of their wings. And they said it was an evolutionary dead end. Have you seen They're on the tip of the wings and they <laughs> flip around constantly. <laughs> no, it's on the tip of the dick. They dangle them in the water to lure fish and then they go down. And they dangle them in front of a lady bald eagle so she'll suck them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they shop with their cup at a grocery store. Aaron, did you go to a soft serve yogurt place and just put some yogurt in the cup and as a sample? <laughs> Little sampler. No. <laughs> so I'm the only guy in this uh, room who's gotten his ass eaten. Huh? What do you want to do with these 40 <laughs> eagles, son? <laughs> what kind of segue is that? That's your fucking segue. We're not at your dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the. We're switching over to the Patreon. <laughs> I'm waving it around so that I know where we got to play cut. some kind of music for the Patreon switch. Patreon switch. It's Patreon. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Danish. Danish was playing some good music. I'm actually I'm right. I didn't want to How does it. it go? Let's make up a it's a Patreon song right now. Go ahead. 
I need O'Neill's help on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Patreon time. So cuddle up near your radio, radio. and listen to us go. We got you covered with more ball eagle What talk. are you talking about? <laughs> it's like this. It's Patreon time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>